Okay, turn it. Okay, good, good, good. So we'll start with the exhaust manifold now. We've got the gasket behind there. We've got one bolt started and we're going to just ease it in place. I'm going to get a few started, get them all started, and then we'll tighten them down and torque them up. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to get under the vehicle and drain the oil. Let that drain while I'm finishing everything else out. It's a, it's not as hot today as it was yesterday, so it'll take a little bit longer for the oil to drain out of the system. It's about uh, 21 Celsius right now this morning. Probably about 71 or 72 Fahrenheit. But uh, we'll get that oil out and... I'm going to put new synthetic 530 and I've got a new Fram filter here. This is the uh, XG1060. I got it uh, for about nine bucks at my uh, local parts store. I think on Amazon you can get them for maybe 14 or 15, something like that. Um, okay, so got that manifold on. Basically, you start with the middle bolt. I put one in number three first, and then I worked out from there up to four, and then two, and then five, then one, and six. And then you torque them to 106 inch pounds the first time around. Again, I went three, four, two, Five one six, and uh, then you come back and you torque them to 15 foot pounds, and make sure you got the gasket lined up properly. And I'm going to take this in this little tab. I'm going to bend it around the head a little bit like that, and uh, next step looks like we'll probably add the intake manifold now. The rocker arms, by the way, when you put them on, you gotta line it up to top dead center and you gotta torque those babies down to 22 foot pounds when they're at when the spring's most extended, it's when the push rod's the furthest down. So there's a there's a pattern you can go on and check for your engine. I believe at top dead center it's like one I don't know. I'll see if I can find it, but otherwise look it up just to be safe, okay? Because then you have to rotate the engine 360 and uh, do the other half, okay? It's uh, intake manifold time. My heat shield's totally whacked, so I'll get another one, but uh, for now I, I had a big washer and just modified this little clip just to hold it in place for now. And uh, the other one comes in, they go 25 bucks. I'll just pull off those other bolts. Some of the bolts have uh, have stripped, so I'll get new bolts too. But that won't be in for today. So for now, we did a little jury rig. I used the two bolts I was able to get off cleanly, and uh, that'll hold it for now. It's not pretty, but it works. Okay, so I've cleaned uh, these surfaces with a uh, scraper very carefully. These heads are aluminum, right? So. I've got uh, material off. I'm going to spray a little more gasket remover on there and clean that up. And then I'll use uh, a rag soaked with some brake cleaner just to wipe any residual oil or, uh, or grease off of there so everything meets properly. And then we'll get the uh, intake gaskets on and get that back together. Just letting that gasket remover soak for a bit. I'm going to scrape that little bit off. I've cleaned the rest of the uh, head off. Be careful with scraping. You don't want to scratch anything. I'm just going to soak a cloth with some, uh, with a, or a shop rag here with some brake cleaner. And I'm going to wipe down all these surfaces where the gaskets meet. And then we'll get the manifold back on. That's a new gasket set. And uh, we'll get that installed on the manifold. and. Put that together okay so the new intake i slid it in place 
not too tricky. I've saved all the bolts here in order so I can put them back in the same spot. I'm not sure if it's necessary, but I did. You'll see the gaskets have these little clips on them. On this one, the gaskets are interchangeable between the sides. So all you basically do is uh, go back to kindergarten and uh, match your shapes. The ports are the same size as the gasket holes. Clip them on, and that makes it easier. You lift in the gasket and place it to stay, or the uh, manifold in place, they'll stay right there. Yeah, so I'm putting the bolts in one at a time. I put a little bit of thread locker on here. Just some uh, the blue number two. And it's the matter of routing. And when, when you push this in, just make sure you route your line for your vacuum for the brake cylinder has to go around behind all those other hoses and sort of lift the back in first because yeah there's a little plastic shield back there that has to slide underneath the firewall and uh, it goes in pretty easy once it's uh, in place throw the bolts in and then we start torquing them in a specific torque pattern this is the torque pattern and um, for this one you're going to want to torque them I suggest you subscribe. It's 20 bucks to subscribe to the Hanes online, and you get this manual with everything you want for 20 bucks. I mean, I need to print out everything you need. Um, so intake manifold bolts. See, you got uh, 44 inch pounds in step one. So basically, do the pattern, get it to 44 inch pounds, and then come back around, and you're going to go to 89 inch pounds. Uh, that's that. I'm going to do that right now. On that back one, number eight, um, remember there's a little clip, so you have to sort of slide the bottom part of the uh, bolt housing under the clip, then drop it down. And now we've got our torque wrench here set to 44 inch pounds, almost. Er, there we go, 44 inch pounds for the first um, run, and then 89 inch pounds in the second. 89. Okay. Next one. Number seven. Times make sure I backed off the wrench and that we're getting a good torque. Reconnect all your connectors, all your fuel injectors, your coil pack. This will be for the other side. I'm gonna do the alternator and the belt. So I got the fuel line clipped in. I've got the little retainer. Just a little clip, just like it came off. Slides in there. On there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The EVAP line from your EVAP canister, I should just click right in. Yeah. Obviously, I only have the one head, but you'd be doing the rock arm covers next. Just feed your new gasket in on the rock arm cover and um, I like to take a little oil and just dab it along the outside. That's what I'm going to do. Just take a little fresh oil, just run my finger along it. I don't know if it makes a difference, but... Okay, 106 inch pounds on those. Start from the middle. Okay, so we're putting new plugs in. I'm changing them on both sides since we're here. Let's do that before we put the coil pack back in. Just gives us a little more space. And then we'll put the coil pack and the plug wires back on and we're almost okay. We got coil packs on, wires connected. Um, we're going to do the um, alternator next. And then do the intake. And then some coolant, some oil. 
Okay, alternator's in, and now we're just going to thread our serpentine belt through. This shouldn't really be all that challenging. Just sort of follow the path, right? There's places where there's a groove, so the groove part has to go there. Places where there aren't. So, so the groove part doesn't go there. not correct because it's not tight enough so I'll sort this out and get back to you okay so I got the belt figured out just to be sure I did check online I hate to think I hooked something up and made it turn the wrong way but um, looks like we got it all right Time for the intake, or sorry, the um, the uh, air intake, not air intake, you know, that thing. Okay, so that part just pushes in like that. There's a grommet there, it slides onto, pushes on here, pushes on here, and now we type your coolant, your oil, your filter, your plugs. We just hook up this negative battery cable, and I'm going to start it up. Okay, I ran it. I didn't have the camera on at the time, but uh, it made a little noise at the beginning. I assume that's the lifters filling up with oil and seating in and doing their things, but it seems to start okay now. I think it's okay. Keep an eye on it. 